the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. The fall of Bayer. 1105. Dun dun dun. Another spectacular intro. Bloody love them. 1105, the fall of Bear. Here we go. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. So uh, Robert obviously had been to the uh, Lionheart School of cavalry usage. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Cracking stuff. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Ready to control the group. Got it. 70 longbows. Group only my spearmen. There we go. Left click attack move and then left click on the ground near an enemy. So probably shouldn't have tested that out with the archers. Spears are in there now, though. 
Bring them all down. Lovely stuff. What happens when we reach 500 subs? Well, I'll be downing some beer in my Viking drinking horn. And I'll also be ordering some super sour sweets to eat live on stream. To punish myself and give you guys some extra enjoyable content, because why not? Uh, let's send my scouts out. Come on, Henry. Where would you go, lad? Gotta push on. Ooh. Enemy cavalry. Fire, 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 fire. Bears keeping busy. Archers shred them all. by manpower alone. Then we would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. Okay. Capture the forest village. So we're going to need to gather the resources to build up some siege equipment. I mean, let's destroy these poor peasants land here as well. I've lost my scouts. What a shame. Are we winning yet? Oh, we're doing all right. Rip scouts. I mean, they were cavalry. Did we really expect them to survive? Actually, bring the archers up here. This takes up here just in case because it also looks really cool. Yeah, we need to breach those walls. It's rather formidable. Okay, let's head over this way. Ole! Doesn't do much, but there's no ammo in this, so we're all good. We have reinforcements. Military tent. I like it. <laughs> oh, here we go. They've got cavalry. Got to push further over. Got to go over that bridge by the looks of things. Go watch us go. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Gonna work for Chelsea. Football club, nice. Burn down the tower. That's what we're all here to see. Let's just keep destroying this stuff, because why not? I feel like we're not doing this right if we don't burn and pillage our way through. We don't get anything for it, but you know what? I feel, I feel good. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, Henry's uh, ability is an armor buff. It's quite nice.
I wonder if we can get to actually over this way. So we're going to probably be attacked by that. Although I wonder if we can clear the walls of those archers right now. Spear's gone. Oh, we're now shredding the rest of them. Get him. Village is mine. the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Build a blacksmith. We feel about a total war game that progressed through the ages. Um, I feel like actually it would be really bad just because, I mean, uh, within most historical total wars, they progress technologically through an age or two within that that focus but i think if they if they try to do it like age of empires we really progress hand, through quite dramatically would soon be ready to construct siege equipment i think you would actually end up with a very kind of uh shallow game rather than a deep one in terms of like unit variety and things like that just because i can't see them being able to put it all off um in one single game a, a, a game where they then added in new eras as expansions. Yeah, could work. They made a change of subscribing Prime. <laughs> Off your face. Uh, you can heal unit, uh, Longbowmen get the ability to uh, create a camp which heals them. Don't know if we can do that in this mission though. How technologies to improve range units and siege engines? Let's get that. Yeah, there's only so much money they... Well, I mean, they could definitely do it. I just think it wouldn't be a particularly good Total War game if they went for something like era developing like Age of Empires just because people would want more variety per age and they just wouldn't be able to give it. Not all in one game anyway. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. And you work. Nice. So yeah, they can now create battering rams and siege towers. But we're also going to need a bit more of an army as well, I think, to take uh, Bayer. What have we got here? We've got a stable. We can get some horsemen. That's it with, how with a load of houses, yeah. So first off, I'm going to get... How many more farms can you get? Four. Fields, rather. There we go. Wait, you go Three of them working on wood right now. Let's leave them to do that and instead go for a mining camp on that gold over there. Oh, I've got more queued up already. Whoops, my bad. Right, these guys can now make a camp, which will heal them. So smash out a load of camps and it'll just start healing them up nicely. And we'll build some rams. The floor of the siege towers, they don't stay on the wall. You have to keep loading. On. Uh, that's that's kind of annoying that you can't just, uh, yeah, it doesn't like dock and then it's a, a ladder access. Medieval Total War that goes from Dark Ages to High. Well, I mean, like, Medieval 2, you went... The technology in that, you went through... Um, 
yeah, a reasonable bit of technological process. I mean, even like M Empire Total War, you went through, you know, early muskets to more refined ones by the end. I think that's what Total War will stick to. I don't, I don't imagine it will. Uh... Why did you guys not do mine? I don't think Total War could ever do more than that, basically. The would not go unanswered. And now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. I am going to get some cav. Here we go. I'm really glad I just built all those stakes. That cavalry ain't messing. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Yeah. I don't want to push yet, though, because I think, well, one, I need some spearmen again. Barrett's going. Um, so we'll get archery range. Let's get some that going as well. The three of them smash out more longbows. Oh, I loved Empire Earth. Empire Earth was great. Wait so we can smash a load more uh, tailings into the ground. Some camps there to heal us all up. Ancient Rome to Middle Ages to Modern Ages. We're talking about things too much. Yeah, yeah, when it changes that much, I think. But within, like, a to like most Total Wars historicals typically tend to cover what, like, a good 80 to 100 years or so. So I reckon that's, I, I think there's a reason why they've stuck to that because it's a reasonable sweet point. Um, I'm going to that. More cavalry coming. Get more longbows. Are we do an Empire Earth camp. For it, possibly. I'm not sure I can actually get that to work, though. Such an old game now. I remember the the um, Verdun campaign on Empire Earth, though. That was crazy fun. Yeah, Medieval 2 spanned, spanned a good good few hundred years. But I think they'd always... They wouldn't ever push it more than... Um, more than spanning a few hundred. Just because... Yeah, you won't be able to get the the depth that people expect. Variety from units and things like that. And factions as well. And just because then the game with certain technologies evolves into quite a different beast. Get some light spearmen in there as well. Might as well go up to our pop limit. I mean, we can build more than that. I don't know how much of this we'll actually need, to be fair. Um, we'll have these men at arms doing the rams and stuff. I think as well, like, the vast majority of, like, Total War players probably prefer something that's um, not as broad in terms of, you know, a good few hundred years and would rather prefer a Total War that's 
focus on just a singular like 100 years a singular century or something like that but does it really well with lots of depth and features and variety to it rather than a broad shallow um game like i i feel like that's the way they're probably going to go with more historicals in the future and that if they want to cover more advanced eras then they'll do that as dlc slash kind of dlc expansions let me just get you to build me some more houses here yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need. I would have thought. Oh, hello. Enemy cab on the way. Some more cab. Hold. Getting some more out that way. Get some more pop. We need some more food, actually. Food generation. We'll build another farm. Let's just build a market, actually, so we can sell some of this stuff off. Yes, Oh, is it only the long is it only the longbowmen that benefit from the camp? Ah, yeah, that would make it a bit too, a bit too solid. Right, so we need one more spearman, and then three more of them. Have ten of each. We get some scouts. And just go scout out the defences a little bit. Work out where I'm going to go. Get all those upgrades in there. Scouting all around the walls. Or at least the all around the map edge. The 100 years war went into extra time. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there's a side gate over here. Okay. Out of bounds. Scouts. Take down the Wolves. Right, let's get another 10 spears. Another 10 early men arms. What are we out of? Food. Yeah. And I can get more pops. Are you well? In fact, I need to look for a new site for another mill. Who are? I could actually probably pop it here because I can get rid of um, get rid of that. Okay. Right. Put a mill up here. Let's get some more fields. And we need some more people to work that land. Let's cavalry got. Okay, get three more than we got twenty. Build up a nice little force and then we'll push. Let's get some more longbows as well. Right, work those fields for me. 
Have you ever tried playing EU4? I have. I didn't particularly enjoy it. Uh, just because I, I think it's because the grand strategies I've connected with best have been the ones that have a more character driven focus rather than faction focus. And uh, EU is all about your faction as such, isn't it? Or the nation that you're driving. I don't think they're sending out any more uh, attacks, which is good. Right. Oh, no. I lied. There we go. They're coming. Just like that. Archers. Up into the trees. Speaking of the enemy, so you finished all your gold mining, have you? Well done. Back on with all that, would you? more gold or we mind it we probably mind it all in which case crack on uh i should probably do another one of those there get ready to breach those walls please grow back uh i don't think they do if they do i haven't paid attention to it so far. Five more of each. Little palisade around my. Uh... Oh, why not? Oh, there we go. Why not? Might as well protect ourselves. I think we're locked in anyway, but whack that in there. Yeah, I guess eventually you can just you'll just have enough gold or like farming so you just buy the other resources that you need. Okay, we've now got eighty longbows. I feel like that should be enough, you know? All the upgrades we can possibly get. You want to say farming? <laughs> hey, Mosey. What's that over there? Some chests. Discover that. Hello. Where's the chest? Kill the witnesses. We didn't take these treasure chests. Sleep now. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Kill that there. Okay. 
Gonna go straight for that bit, or are we gonna go and attack the gate? I think we should go try and attack the main gate. Send everybody out. There the army. So I actually can get some more troops. them both there we go right now let's start getting a battering ram boom down boom down boom down can totally build the siege tower. I reached the pop capacity. Okay, that's fine. Right. We're at pop capacity. Okay. Ram, go. Power, go. Power, go. Archers, forward. Spread out a bit. Attack the walls. down. Got one up on the wall. Here they come. Into the city. Bring down that gate. Walls are down. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Go, okay, cavalry, go. Do that. Cavalry, get inside, please. We go. Take 
Come out. Oh, whoops. He's alive. Get away from that fort. Henry. Get back up, mate. Destroy those siege towers, don't need that anymore. Oh, you see, I've still got to build some more rams, have I? How come that didn't come up as a check on... Is it because I've got to use my longbows to do this? busy doing that. More infantry going. We can't do that one. Kill the defenders, please. Get back up and fight, mate. This last ramp. Oh, we've uh, cleaned the out this uh. The English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Not yeah, this forest. That's what we're doing. We destroy that. Leave the rams doing their thing. Trundling along. Sensor probably. Go, go, go. What about those glorious longbows? <laughs> Henry, Henry the first. Tis but a scratch. Tis but a second scratch, a third scratch. Tis one of many scratches. As the is burned, and the people fled in terror. King Henry basked in the victory over his brother, Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Victory!